Okay. So just good morning everyone, my name is Reese and I'm part of the 2013 class here at Kentwood and my high school experience has been like hitting the cycle in baseball, which if you don't know it's in a single game, getting a single, a double, triple, and a homer. And that relates directly with my life because baseball is everything I do every day. Um, and I actually did hit the cycle once here at Kentwood. So going, going into my four years here at Kentwood, uh, four characteristics that I've really developed strongly have been confidence, leadership, independence, and dedication. And each year has brought new challenges in, in school, sports, and life. And increasingly from freshman year to senior year, just like in baseball, getting a simple base hit to a, to a home run. And so coming into my freshman year, I was fortunate enough to have an older brother here already, and so I, I already had a group of friends. Um, I had always played up with my brother, he's a year older, and so in baseball and Little League I was always playing a year older, and so I already had a, a, good, a good core of people to, that I know and felt comfortable being here and fit in. And one of the teachers and classes that, that really stood out my freshman year was uh, Mr. Cordes is, and also Coach Cordes being my basketball coach uh, in the classroom. He really built, built my confidence this year uh, in challenging myself in the class. Science wasn't really something that I liked to be in and wanted to really study, but he gave me a different perspective and just with my first test not, not coming out well, he, he pulled me aside actually, which was pretty cool being a, being a freshman and being new to him. And then uh, after that, I just gained my confidence in there. And then also on the court, he, being a freshman on JV, uh, I started to become a starter. And um, and being out there, he, he started to gain confidence in me towards being the player that is going to maybe make the the last shot or uh, in, in lead and lead the team. And also freshman year, I took creative cooking with Miss Johnson. And this was a really fun class. At, I also gained a lot of confidence in here as a student with uh, planning and preparing and organizing meals. Um, this was being in the in the elective class with older older kids. It was a little bit difficult to to try and stand out. Um, so, and then my biggest confidence boost in that class was the five course meal, which was the uh, culminating project. In there, I got to cook an anniversary dinner for my grandparents, which is pretty neat. And then freshman year, also I played baseball. Except I was I was confident in my game, but uh, going into it, I knew that I was ineligible for varsity because I was on a waiver to go to Kentwood, and so I was kind of bitter that we won state that year and didn't get to play up there. And then going into my sophomore year, this is like hitting the double. Freshman year was the, the simple base hit. It's, it's more of an easier year. And then sophomore year was a, another step and took a took another risk and. Um, gained more leadership this year. Uh, Mr. Maivori really brought that out of me in his class with reading, writing, and organizational skills. Uh, the daily ISN that we did was it, it helped with my organization. The, when we did reading, one of the main books was 1984. And, uh, it was a really confusing book, but it, it made me, it was creative and made me focus more. Um, and then the vocab that we learned on weekly and made a weekly test was uh, really critical in, in my writing skills because I, I gained more knowledge in uh, different words. And the leadership responsibilities through group work, there's a lot of group projects and uh, presentations. And so Mr. Matt, where I really brought my leadership in there, taking, taking initiative. And then also, Sophomore year, I played basketball again. I was on JV, except this year I was a full-time starter. Um, and that was my goal at the start of the year, was to be a full-time starter. And, uh, in this year, being a sophomore, already having played with uh, Coach Cordes, who, who left and there's a new coach. But once again, there's like leadership that I was with the freshman that came up um, on the court. I was leading the team. And then uh, with baseball, this was my first year for eligibility of varsity and so I was really excited. I, got, I was getting to play with my brother and um, the leadership role that I played that year was really, really big because 
I became the uh, starting catcher and I hit in the three hole spot, which is just being the catcher and um, having to face the field and work out a good relationship with the pitcher and, and understand each other and communicate was really, really a, a good development. And then junior year, was like hitting the triple. And uh, this year I gained a lot of independence with with new privileges such as getting my license and getting a car. Um, also, it used to be where my, my parents would drop me off at a football game and uh, I'd be hanging out with friends like towards the start of the game. But this year I actually had, you know, I had my own car so we were driving there tailgating after school which was, which was pretty cool and having that privilege from my parents that I'd earned. And then uh, one of the classes was marketing with Zender and Coach Zender. Uh, he really polished my leadership skills from the previous year and he really worked on my independence in the classroom. We had teamwork and projects, but there was also a lot of uh, individual work. And, and then on the field as well, this was a year where we had a lot of talent on our, on our squad last year for baseball. And so we wanted to make sure that we were strong one through, one through the lineup instead of just having a core group of talent. So he focused more on developing the, the guys that weren't as developed. And so he gave uh, some of the players more independence in practice and in the games and took his time more with everyone else. And then one of the main projects in there was the trade show, which was an individual project. And this was really a, a successful project for me because I got to go out of my comfort zone and go talk to some businesses and uh, ended up picking a, a clothing group. And for Jones, last year he he's a really laid back type teacher and uh, and that, that kind of hit me in a different way which is, which is really positive um, through self-exploration of ideas and concepts. So I got to go think about things on my own and be creative. And then with Mr. Jones, like I connected really well with him. Uh, he, I could talk to him about anything on a personal level outside of school. Uh, and he made the students feel independent like an adult. And this is really key, like being a junior and finally becoming an upperclassman. Uh, it was just a really good feeling and, and helped my confidence, leadership, and then independence. And then, so this whole year of junior year, it really prepared me for the summer, this last summer, because it was one of the busiest ones I had, and I got to travel a lot and play uh, for different showcases, and, and then topping it off with playing for Team USA in South Korea. Uh, without the, the strong independence that I had grown and developed, I wouldn't have been prepared to go out on my own, such as like the very first thing I did was leave school a week early and go play for Team USA in uh, North Carolina and I stayed with the host family. And that was really, really different for me because I'd never done that and I didn't know these people at all. And so I had to just step into their life. And, uh, but it was really fun and then South Korea was awesome because I got to stay in a hotel and we got to stay in like top notch hotels with our teammates and got to be on our own. And, um, with the itinerary every day, we had to make sure we were getting up on our own, eating breakfast and so everything was really independent that, that summer. And then senior year would be like hitting the home run because everything's just coming together and uh, everything that I've worked for is, is finally paying off. And so this year I focused a lot on dedication. Um, I had a lot of dedication to finish my uh, education and get a diploma this year. And then also in training because uh, this year and last year and has opened my eyes to maybe another opportunity of instead of going to college, just have an opportunity of getting drafted and going professional in baseball. And one thing, one thing that I really wanted to do over these years was give back. And this year I got the chance to be a peer tutor in Mr. McGraw's class. And that really opened my eyes to, like some people take things for, for granted in life. And um, I try not to be one of those people and just be thankful. And uh, the dedication that I give to the and, and the students give back to me in the class is really important and I hope to keep, keep continuing that in my future. And then with weightlifting, I took that this year. I hadn't done it, uh, I hadn't done it at all in my, in my career and 
I just really was am dedicated to just getting stronger and getting better and preparing myself for what's next, which I hope, which is also on the field. And this year's a, a younger team. We have five seniors, and so a lot of dedication to just helping the team out in any way I can, and to myself as well. Just I've set my goals, and and now it's time to like go out and you know, and reach them. And so that leads me into my future, which is going to be either college or professional baseball uh, after this year. And uh, right now, I'm, for me, it's a win-win situation because I'm, I'm prepared to go to college with this education and everything I've learned here at Kentwood. Um, and my goal from the start has been to get Division One scholarship. And I've, I've done that, and I feel really proud to with my parents, you know, knowing that they're not going to have to be struggling financially at all or anything like that. And the major leagues has always been my dream, and I never really thought coming into high school that I'd have an opportunity to do that after my senior year, but it's really opened my eyes to that. And so the decision day is going to be June 6, which is the draft, and I'm really looking forward to this because it's, it's where my path's going to go in life, whether it's college or, or pro, and so I'm just really looking forward to this day. And so just in conclusion, I'd just like to thank Kentwood for everything that they've they've offered me and, and given me. I, I've become a confident leader who's independent and dedicated to achieving my highest level and, and that's about it. So it's great to be alive. It's great to be fun. Mm -hmm.